Hey class, this is uh, tutorial three, item three, the insulated mug that you need to make. There are some specifications that you have to meet, some parameters. Whatever you design for your mug needs to be between six and nine inches tall, no more than four inches wide in diameter. You need to fill up the mouthpiece so it's nice and uh, uh, rounded and easy on the lip. Uh, include some type of chamfer on the object and engraved lettering uh, on the side that is uh, debossed or engraved onto the side of your initials or something to that effect. Um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go right into it instead of kind of showing you this one. Go ahead and make a sketch. Now for the sketch, what we're going to do is we're going to do the profile of what half of the mug uh, section cut would look like. So what half of the mug sliced through would look like that we're going to use to revolve. So I'm just going to randomly make a shape here. That's going to be my mug. Okay. And for the sake of this, I'm going to kind of speed up and just finish the inside part of it. I would like you to have yours more uniformed. Um, like that isn't perfectly uniform the how uh, the spacing there, that's not too big of a deal, but it shouldn't be any more grossly different than that right there. Okay. So we have that. We're going to go ahead and finish the sketch. We're going to hit revolve. It's going to revolve that. And then the axis is right there. All right. So we have the object now in order to make sure it's between six and nine, you can use this inspect tool. You can go right from the top here all the way to the bottom. And hey, that's only 5.2 inches. So that doesn't meet the requirement. Um, but for the sake of just showing you how to use that tool, I want to show you that. You can also go back into the sketch and you could dimension. You could say, hey, from the top here to the bottom, 5. Point, oh, I'm seeing as 5.2. Okay, so maybe not 5.9. Uh, and then you can also check to see how what the diameter is going to be by going from the widest area do the center. Oops, hold on. From here to here. Oh, that's three. That would be six. Six diameter would be uh, too much. So this doesn't meet the uh, meet the criteria. But for the sake of showing you how to make it, that's going to be fine. All right. So once you have it uh, made and ran, um, use the revolve tool. We want to fill it the mouth. Just gonna fill it that in 0 0.05. The other side, this is 0.1. There we go. Nice and round it off. I'm gonna add one in right there too. Say 0.1. We need to add a chamfer, which is this feature right here. I'm going to add a chamfer to this face right here. So I'm going to grab this ring. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to use the distance and angle. I'm going to say for the distance, um, can't do one because it's not. That's not how thick it is. I'll say 0.1. There we go. And for the angle, I'm going to make it real narrow, going straight down like that. So it's really just kind of drops off. Um, maybe a little less than that. There we go. Okay. So got a chamfer, got some, uh, fillets on the mouthpiece and let's just say it was in the specifications. Again, you need to make sure that you're meeting these specifications. We've done everything except the lettering now. Um, for the lettering, we want to grab a construction plane, tangent to plane. It's kind of showing a, a work plane on a rounded surface there. So grab that. And we're going to say, we want a plane on this one right there. I'm going to say, okay, so there's our work plane that we are now going to put a sketch on. And we are going to put text on that. So I'm going to draw it right about here. Now this might act up on you a little bit when you try to finish this up, depending on where you put your text, how big it is and the curvature of your object. So try to pick a flattened area to do this on. And Jay Werner, I'm going to say that works finished sketch. I'm going to put it right here in the middle, square it up and put it right here in the middle. You need to right click the text and hit 
oops, sorry. Go back into the sketch. Here we go. I've got to do this. Go back into the sketch. And right click the letters and explode text. And you want to explode this letter, this letter, and this letter. Go ahead and finish sketch. And at that point now, we can emboss. Um, or in this case, we're going to deboss. So emboss, we want to emboss this, this, and this. The face we want to emboss it to is there. And we want to deboss or engrave to, eh, let's just do that distance. There we go. Oh, and for whatever reason, we um, did not deboss the W. Um, and maybe they don't let you, I would have to redo this, but that just gives you an idea. I guess I didn't select the W when I did it. Um, but that just gives you an idea on how to make it. So please make sure that you meet these specifications um, on that. Take a screenshot and put it in the activity sheet.